Hey everyone, I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for our weekly reading from Monday the 15th of April through to Sunday the 15th of April, uh, the 21st of April. So I'm setting the intention for the reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. So there, for Monday we are the Ace of Pentacles for Tuesday, the Page of Swords for Wednesday, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, Thursday, the Death Card, Friday, the Page of Pentacles. And Saturday, the Ten of Swords. Sunday, the World. Okay, so Monday we have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is reminding us to stay focused on our visions. We've just come through the eclipses the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse, the equinox, the planetary lineups that we have moved through has been immense. We've done the inner work and are about to reap the rewards, to stay in this place of gratitude of meditation, of staying in this place of alignment. We were given a wonderful gift during this solar eclipse of peace, of calm. But if we look out into the outside world, that can rob us of our peace of mind. To bring ourselves back in and to focus on the fruitfulness of our life, the fruitfulness and the beauty of Mother Earth. During the solar eclipse, immense light came onto the planet, light beings. As we are moving up and we have released and of the inner work, we've released the trauma, the ancestral, the healing of the ancestral wounds, the light that came through from the solar eclipse cleansed the collective trauma. The light came in and went into the darkest areas of Mother Earth and, sh and is shining light there. To know that everything is in divine order regardless of what we perceive is happening in the outside world. To stay focused on peace. To stay focused on, on our alignment. Because if we all come into alignment and hold and anchor this light that's come through from the solstice, uh, from the solar eclipse, anchoring the light from the solar eclipse into the heart of Mother Earth, bringing ourselves into alignment. This is the card of Taurus. And we are moving into this conjunction with Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. Taurus is a very divinely abundant sign, a sign that is an earth sign. So anchoring, staying in this moment every single second. And if something happens around us that starts to rock us, bring ourselves back in. Just like this beautiful African queen sitting there, surrounded with nature in gratitude. 
she is not controlling anything, worrying about anything. She's sitting there in peace, in nature. Tuesday, the page of swords. So this is new, new messages coming through. The page of swords, the epiphanies coming in, but making sure that we're grounded as well. As we are moving up into the higher frequencies, connecting to the higher realms, receiving messages and making sure that we are listening to the loving guidance of our spirit, spirit guides, of our angels. She is the reading, so maybe write, write down messages that come through on Tuesday. But keeping our feet firmly on the ground, the energy of this week is staying grounded, not to rush into anything, to, to just stay in peace, allow the ideas to come in, allow the, the opportunities to arise, but just stay grounded and in a place of stillness. We had a huge healing through this solar eclipse. And now we are taking in light where there was all dense energy that we have moved through and released. We are now filling with light, filling with the divine consciousness, divine intelligence coming through. Wednesday the 8th of 1, things starting to move now. So where we feel that we have been stuck, we're starting to see that we're not stuck any, any longer. We're not forcing anything. We are just allowing things to fall in place, not trying to force anything. Whatever is presenting itself to us in that moment being calm within that moment, within the situation, connecting to the higher consciousness through any situations that we may find ourselves in. And this is now starting to move us, free us up from past, from past programs that have held us and kept us small we're now starting to move and expand and this is a card of movement things coming in now again with this card stay grounded don't rush into anything mercury is in retrograde in aries and during this solar eclipse was there with in this solar eclipse conjunct with the sun the moon so lots of healing still occurring. So a reminder of not to rush into anything. We may feel ready, but to just hang back a little bit, just to take our time, let things come in. And it, it, they're showing me a tree when we go to pick the fruit and it's not quite ripe. This is what I'm seeing. This is what Spirit's showing me. It's not quite ripe, but it is ripening. Things are starting to shift. Thursday, we have a death and a rebirth. So lots of things falling away. We have transmuted and alchemized so much of our ego and and I really feel moving into this this conjunction with Uranus and Jupiter on Saturday is a a death of the ego so there's a there is a falling away 
however that may be in our lives it could be an old pattern we're not we're not plugging into any longer we're unplugging from this this inverted matrix in and stepping into the organic matrix that is true to us not not in a a place of disarmony trying to to maybe fit in we're now moving away from all that and that can cause a um endings because we we start to whether it's a, a change in our career whether it's a, a change in how we the d dynamics in our relationships because as we start to love ourselves the, the dynamics of everything in our life starts to change so that there's a death of certain things a falling away of certain things but these things are not love these things are the situations that are moving away is is karma a, a karma uh, healing so that we can move on so you can see that there is a sun coming up there the sun is starting to shine and the red there is I'm just being taken to the root so fears all fears things that may have feared us at one time no longer have any hold over us so there's a death of that there's a death of the old fears that we are now knowing that everything is in divine order that we are here as a soul and our soul is going to guide us into every relationship every situation for our soul growth for the healing for the karmic cycles that we're all moving through so lots of these karmic cycles are starting to fall away now and we're moving into the good karma you can see the sun there shining through now so there is a death but there's also a rebirth so this is a, a time of taking that breath taking a full breath in of life feeling the passion of life feeling the passion of everything that you love and letting the fears fall, letting the doubts fall away. Friday, we have the Knight of Pentacles reminding us to stay grounded again. So this is the theme throughout the week. Such a beautiful, uplifting week to not get carried away with it to stay grounded to stay in the moment you can see there he's off his horse back he is keeping his feet on the ground he is grounding himself those pentacles are following him so this is a time of grounding of really taking our time feeling the the earth beneath us stabilizing now as we have this conjunction with Jupiter and Uranus on Saturday. So this is Friday, so the day before. But we've started, we're already feeling the effects of this conjunction. These are two slow moving planets, Jupiter and Uranus. Two slow moving planets. And it takes about 14 years for Jupiter and Uranus to come into conjunction, 14 to 15 years. But for a conjunction in Taurus, it's 84 years. So this is a generational conjunction, which is bringing huge rewards, reminding us that Jupiter is the planet of expansion, good luck, good fortune, Buddha consciousness 
and expands and just expands everything. Uranus is the planet of sudden change that is bringing breakthroughs and shattering, shattering the past, shattering the past, past programming because we're having these epiphanies throughout the week that are coming in, setting us free and opening us up to a new reality. So the page is reminding us to stay grounded and, our, and this conjunction is happening in Taurus. So Taurus is the is an earth sign, a, a sign of wealth, a, a sign that's ruled by Venus, the planet of love. So whatever we are focusing on, whether it's our love life, whether it's our finances, however we are focusing on it, you you Jupiter is going to come and ex and expand our view. So if we're worrying about something, to take our attention away from that because we do not want to expand that into our lives, to focus on flourishing, feeling the, the wealth of life. And wealth is our health, is our happiness, and feeling that. And Saturday we have the Ten of Swords, ending of a challenging time. We have been through such a challenging time of facing a shadow, of not battling with our shadow any longer, not fighting, shining a light there being gentle with ourselves, doing the, the forgiveness of the past to a point now where you can see those birds are flying away. Those thoughts that kept us stuck, that kept us trapped, we're not listening to them any longer. We are now listening to our hearts and setting ourselves free. So you can see this, she is moving into that beautiful space of peace, looking into the light, looking into that vast place of nature and to just that peace there, that space, so she can move into creating from a place of authenticity without having those doubts speaking to her, without having those thoughts that kept her up at night worrying about what maybe people are thinking or what she's meant to do, or the anxieties, they're all shifting now to walk into that time of peace that this solar eclipse gifted us with. Regardless of what's going on, come into that place of peace as we anchor peace within, anchor peace into the heart of Mother Earth. Each one of us doing that, we will bring peace on Earth by going in to the into the fear and anxiety of everything that's what that's during this time of this eclipse that's what we will that's what we will bring in with huge expansion to focus on peace more than ever 
focus on peace, focus on love. And then Sunday we have the world, the new world. We're in the time of Aquarius and during all these, these um, conjunctions. So Uranus is the ruling planet of Aquarius and Pluto is in Aquarius. So helping us to alchemize the conflicts, the darkness, helping us to rise from the density of our past, of our past lives into a place of oneness, of peace, stepping into this new reality. So whether we all anchor this light and anchor this peace and send light out into the world, that light will expand in any area of our life where we may still be stuck in some challenge. Send light there. Take a breath and just send light there. Within this light, as we are moving up, this light is infused with divine intelligence that creates miracles in our lives. To, to bring this light in is to completely let go of worry, to open up to the light and anoint our challenges, anoint the difficulties in our lives, in the world with light. So a beautiful week, an amazing week, to remind us to stay grounded, to not get lost in, in anything that we do not want to expand in, in our world, in our lives. So a wonderful week and thank you for listening. God bless, thank you.